Hi guys, my name is Emilio Marmol and I'm the teacher for today. Emilio, teacher Emilio. Okay, now we're going to talk about wait for the vision. And there's no school today. You no, know, it's Monday flood, because so it's really no school, but I have an assignment. Okay, so it's let's first start with 14 divided by... Oh, wait, wait. 1,526 divided by 14. Okay, so, no. Let's answer this. Okay, so here we have this. So first, you should check the first number, number one. If it if it's a small number over here, well, that means you have to make two numbers. So if it's if it's already bigger, like fifteen divided by fourteen, well, that's already good. So count them, and then one, and then and then you will multiply fourteen, and then subtract. So one minus one, zero. So don't put it anymore. Five minus four, one. And since there's uh, not enough, you will put this, and then obviously that's it. you can't bring down twice, only once. So here we go. And you're, obviously, if you if twelve divided by fourteen is zero. Fourteen times zero, zero. Minus. Twelve minus zero equals twelve. Bring down six. There we go. So let's see. How are we going to make one twenty-six with just fourteen? Uh, yeah, yeah. Indeed, it's pretty hard. So um, let's do by. So let's first do fourteen times ten. Fourteen times ten is equals obviously one forty. So. It's 140, I have to minus it. How about 14 times 8? 32 and 11, 112. Let's how about 14 times 9? 36 and there, 9 and 12. 126, exact. So, answer here is 9. 126. 9. 126 minus 0. Yes, finally we're finished. But we're not really finished. Uh, we're not finished with a number unless you check. So people keep saying they will just, the kids will just say, they will just, they will just give the, their book to the teacher without checking it. And this is what happens. You are wrong. You're 0. You're 1. You're 9. You're, you're, you're 5 over 10. Well, that's just because they don't check. Then they go all like, teacher, why are we like this? Because maybe you didn't check. So come on. So we have, we will multiply the end, the quotient with the divisor or dividend. I don't know, I just keep forgetting. Okay, so 109 times 14. 9 times 4? Good, 36. 4 times 0? Zero. And then you will add 3. 3. So 4, 9, 0, oh, 1, 6. 9 plus 3, 12. Good, good. 4 plus 1, 5. 1, and then 1, 5, 2, 6. So there. If you have the same over here, 1, 5, 5, 5 2, 6, 1, 5, 2, 6, then that means you are simply correct. So now we're going to move on to number 6. 6,703. Divided by 19. Ah! It's going to be hard. Okay. So, let's answer. So, let's put it. Right here in the dividend. Go. 6,000. Oh, too much. Okay, so. I wish I could just do part two. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. You make the division sign, which is like this. There are two signs of division here. This is for when you're pulling this off, and this is when it's on numbers like 5 divided by 60. Yeah. But let's go. 6,703. Divide by 19. Wait, I just get some more. The 
Okay, so here we go. Let's solve. Okay, so this is how you do it. Example, yeah. Obviously, we cannot do six divided by nineteen. There's no, there's no nineteen in six. Six is a small number. It doesn't. It, it's there's no room for big numbers, for bigger numbers. Numbers. Okay. So you move on. Sixty-seven divided by nineteen. Good. So. Let's go with 19 times, how about 6, how about 6, alright, uh, 9 times 6 is, 9 times 6 is um, sort of, ah, 54, 6, 11, no, no match, no match found. 19 times 5, 45, 95, 95. Now, about 19 times 4. 19 times 4, 36, 27, 76. Nope. 19 times 3 is the last thing that I know. 3, 27. Plus two, five, fifty-seven, so three fifty-seven. Then multiply fifty-seven. Minus one zero. That's not enough. So we will bring down. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a little hard. Yeah, let's try nineteen times six again. Fifty-four. 11, 1, 14. So, about 19 times 5. 19 times 5, 45. Then 95. Five. So, that's 55. And then 95 minus 100 minus 95. That's obviously, most importantly, equal to 5. We know that. We all know that. So I don't have to do this anymore. But let's still do it. Nine. That's going to be nine because this one borrowed as well. Zero. So this one's going to be ten. And then five. And then zero. And then zero. So that's the answer. Five. Mm -hmm. So. Hmm. So we haven't bring down three yet. Remember, we're not going to get finished until everything is brought down. Okay, so let's bring down three over here. Okay, so 19, 19 times what? 19 times 3, how about 9 times 3? 27, 57. That's too much. 57. So we do 19 times 2. 19 times 2, 18. And then 38. So 2 and 38 minus and 4 and 13. 13 and 65 and then what? 15. So we have nothing left. So you can't do that anymore. So we will leave our remainder. Remainder? What is that? Well, I'm going to show it, show it to you later. Okay, three, five, two, time, five, times 19, okay, nine times two is obviously 18, 45, 46, nine times three, 27, 31, then two, five, three, okay, eight, six times, Six, 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 eight, eight. Yeah. Okay, let's see. That's 15. Yeah. What you do with the remainder is you add it. Look. You will add it to the, to the answer to this. So, that means there. So, 8 plus 5, 13, and then 10, and 7, 
Yeah, but hold the answer here, folks. Well, well, I guess that's the end. So, here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, go to my YouTube channel, please. YouTube.com slash EO1. So, um, thank you.